the note. But let's shift focus to Kisumu now, where the death toll from protests rose to two after another patient succumbed while undergoing treatment. 32 others are admitted with gunshot wounds at Jaramogi Oginga Odinga Teaching and Referral Hospital. Our reporter Bramuel Wire is in Kisumu and is set to give us a status update of the day two of the third phase of the demonstrations. Bwire, good afternoon. What's the latest? Well, good afternoon, Jesse. But as you said, it is not really a good afternoon following the numbers that are here at the Jaramogi Ogingo Dinga Teaching and Referral Hospital. These are uh, patients who are nursing gunshot wounds at, the, at, at this facility. Remember, we also, as you've said, we lost two citizens from the yesterday anti-government demos. But with me here, I have the medical superintendent, uh, the medical administrator of this facility. Sir, with due respect, thank you for sparing time to speak to us on KT News. What is the state of the patients you're receiving here? Uh, so far, we received up to 18 patients yesterday. Uh, five have been taken to theater, uh, six are lined to go to theater, so that's make a total of 11 patients who are being going procedure, uh, operation. Uh, three were in critical condition, but they have been stabilized. Uh, in the process, we lost one patient uh, who, uh, who uh, at the theater. Uh, one body, one was brought in already dead, so that make a, a total of two deaths so far. Uh, the remaining other patients, two were also on the blunt object injury. Uh, one uh, was injured by uh, tear gas canister, while there were, uh, another one was having a, a deep cut on the, on, 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 on the arms. So, so far, a total of gunshots are 16. Uh, and uh, 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 the remaining uh, 16 patients are in stable condition. One was also discharged. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Sir, uh, before I let you go, this is a, a state that you never precedented. You never expected that uh, you will be having these big numbers of patients streaming in in one day. Today, we are also having those demos continuing. Again, tomorrow, we are going to have these demos. And from the past experience, every day we are having such casualties from these demos. Is the facility and other facilities around in in uh, an ability to absorb this great number or you feel you might be overwhelmed if something is not done injury no matter how few are they are overwhelming depend on the type of injury and therefore we are appealing to the police to desist from using uh, uh, live bullets on demonstrators uh, we are also having a challenge on the staff accessing the hospital based on that demonstration and sometimes uh, delay response due to due to demonstration they don't have a safe corridor to reach the hospital uh, up to now we are still having a good number of patients for previous demonstration who have also been treated and ready for discharge so the number is going up and we are appealing to the to the authority to consider uh, not to use live bullets on 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 demonstrators yes Thank you, sir, for your time. But uh, I have to tell you, Jesse, that with me here, I have several casualties who are still waiting to be treated and they are waiting to know their fate and the extent of which they were injured. But these are guys I'm going to speak with from now and talk to them just to tell us exactly what transpired, where, did they find, where were they found, were they part of the demonstrators, and maybe what is their call to the government in regards of what is going on. Remember, tomorrow is another day. Tuesday is well, Thursday is here with us, and uh, we really we really thinking of a way with which uh, the country will restore its normalcy. But I have to tell you that at Kondele there is a, there is a pure pure confrontation between the police officers and the demonstrators, in an indication that we might uh, have these numbers growing up before the end the, the end of the day. So from here at uh, the GTRH in Kisumu, back to you, Jesse, in the studio.
Well, Bramwell Wire, our man on the ground in Kisumu County, coming to us live from Jaramogi Oginga Undinga Teaching and Referral Hospital. Roughly 16 gunshot wounds where the patients are undergoing the much needed medication.